Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about a trace mineral called selenium. So let's get right into some of the benefits, what kind of foods, etc. So selenium is named after a Greek goddess of the moon. It's incorporated in more than 25 different proteins, and it's important for antioxidants, glutathione production, immune modulation, cell signaling, and DNA synthesis. What that means is it's going to have a broad effect on overall function of the body. So let's get into what it helps. T4 to T3 conversion. When they we're talking about this, we're talking about thyroid hormone. T4 is inactive thyroid hormone, which your thyroid produces at about 93%. And T3 is uh, the active form of thyroid hormone, which is about 7% production. So the body needs to convert your T4, which is inactive, to your active T3. This conversion usually happens in the gut and the liver. However, the important nutrient is selenium because it helps the conversion of T4 to T3. So it converts your inactive thyroid hormones to its active thyroid hormones so it can have a physiological effect. It's important for diabetes, benign prosthetic hypertrophy. It's also an anti-inflammatory, antiviral, right? It also helps cardiovascular disease because it's anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant. So it helps to keep the arteries clean. It's also important for Alzheimer's because, again, antioxidant helps with diabetes, right? And it's an anti-inflammatory. So it can ward off Alzheimer's disease. This is also used for cancer or chemotherapy support polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS and it's also been shown to in some cases decrease TPO antibodies basically autoimmune disease of the thyroid so if we look at some of the minor signs and symptoms of too much selenium it can be hair loss brittle nails fatigue joint pain and GI symptoms However, with selenium, it's kind of a fine balance. If you have too much, you can have some symptoms, but if you have too little, you can also have hair loss and brittle nails and some GI symptoms. So it's, you need to have this fine balance of taking in the right amount of selenium. So let's get into what dosages we can use and what kind of foods we can eat to maintain our selenium levels. So selenium can be found in things like Brazil nuts. So everybody knows about Brazil nuts. So they say to eat two Brazil nuts a day and you're good to go with your selenium. However, Brazil nuts have something called phytic acid, which binds to selenium and sometimes will decrease the absorption. So what you want to do is take your Brazil nuts and soak them overnight to reduce the phytic, uh, phytic acid uh, content so you can absorb your uh, selenium a little bit better. Seafood, right? Fish, etc. Beef, pork, eggs, turkey. Um, also, enriched yeast will have selenium sometimes. Um, so you have to look at nutritional yeast and so forth. The best form that I re we recommend is selenomethionine, which is an organic form, and it's about a 95% absorption rate. Now, there's inorganic forms, but why use them if you have an organic form that's much better? The RDA recommendation is about 55 micrograms. Okay. Typically, if someone is deficient, we like to use higher doses. We're looking at about 100 to 200 micrograms of usage. Now, if you use, um, let's say, 400 micrograms or 600 micrograms, because you don't realize that it might be in your multi or your thyroid supplement and, and all these other things, and you use it for long periods of time, you can increase diabetes risk and alopecia or thinning of the hair, or brutal uh, loss of hair. So although it's very rare, you know, it's something to look out for and look at your supplements and look at the ingredients to see how much selenium is in all the supplements that we're taking, plus the intake of food. 
how much are we taking in in terms of Brazil nuts and you know fish, uh, turkey, etc. to see how much selenium you're actually taking in. Like I said, usually uh, overdosing is very rare uh, in terms of food content, but if you're taking additional selenium with uh, multis along with thyroid supplements and so forth, uh, you want to be cautious for long-term usage. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.